Let's talk about whether or not you're going to allow your youngster to play tackle football. Now, of course, we all know this has been in the news for several years now, and the problem is if you're a parent and your youngster really falls in love with the idea of playing football at an early age, you're going to have to make a decision relatively early on about whether or not you think it's safe for him, in some cases her, to play tackle football. Let me just say this about this concern. First of all, know this. There is absolutely no helmet on the market today that can prevent concussions. Let me repeat that. There are lots of new helmets out there and they offer lots of different uh, you know, angles and gimmicks, but the fact is there is no helmet on the market today that can prevent concussions. Why? Because concussions, as you probably know, are caused by in, inside the one skull, the brain gets sloshed around when a direct hit is made. That causes a concussion, and let's face it, in most contact sports, there's going to be contact to the head. Helmets help to lessen the blow, but they cannot prevent concussions. That's the first thing. Number two, most of the neurologists will tell you, and I've had neurologists, of course, on my show and the research I've done, it's not so much the first concussion that causes the concern, it's repetitive concussions, the second and third. That's where they start getting nervous about what happens in terms of long-term long you know, concerns with one's medical health. I'll never forget, I had Dr. Robert Cantu, the world-renowned neurosurgeon from Boston University, come on my show to talk about what's the right age, in his opinion, for kids to start playing tackle football. And he surprised me with what he had to say. First of all, he said they really shouldn't start until they're 14. And I asked why, and he said because it's at that age, when that puts them probably into eighth or probably even ninth grade, that their neck muscles have reached a point where they have grown and have strengthened to the point where they can really truly support the head in a constructive way. And what he meant was, as he said, the problem is with kids who are younger, they don't have the strength in their neck muscles yet to make sure that when they get hit, their head may flop around on top of their shoulders, they hit the ground, they hit an opposing player, that's when concussions happen a lot, especially at such a young age. So Dr. Cantu was very clear and very emphatic he said, wait till they're 14, because by that point, they'll be playing in high school for a football coach who is presumably certified and educated in the proper ways to block and tackle. And from that point on, the kid could go on to play football if he or she wants. Number two, he said, you know, make sure that, that if the kid does want to play football, up until the age of 14, he said, I'm not discouraging this, but let them learn how to play the game from playing either flag football or touch football. You don't want to discourage their interest in the sport, but wait until they're 14. Uh, I recall reading about Tom Brady. Uh, he didn't start playing tackle football in California where he grew up until he was 14. He played flag football until that age. And remember, concussions happen in all different contact sports, not just football. Lots of times sports parents forget that concussions occur in soccer, in ice hockey, lacrosse, basketball, baseball, a lot of sports. So uh, bear in mind, if your youngster has been diagnosed with a concussion, listen to your doctor, and the doctor says, I want him or her to sit out for a week or two, take that advice very seriously.